The following is a presentation of the Waynesburg University Sports Network. We welcome you inside the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse on the campus of Waynesburg University as the Waynesburg University Sports Network brings you Jacket Women's Hoops as they take on the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. Good afternoon, everyone. Greg Finley here with my partner, Rob McKinney. And Rob, the Waynesburg Yellow Jacket women have to be happy to be out of Crestview Hills, Kentucky after their loss to Thomas Moore, 84-52 to on Wednesday night. The Jackets were held to 28.1% from the floor. Andy Knetzer was held to just 7 points on 3 of 13 shooting. It's just the second time this season that Knetzer was held to under 10 points. Haley Delaney finished with 13 points and Katie Gilman had 10. But the Saints were just too much to handle, shooting 54.1% in the gate. In the game, Nikki Kernan had 18 points, Abby Owings finished with 16, and Emily Schultz had 12. Rob, how's Geneva looking? Well, you know what? Their last game was a little similar to that of Waynesburg and Thomas Moore. It was a defeating loss. They lost 81-69, to and that one was to Chatham. Callie Ford, however, did have 15 points. Uh, Lydia Songer with 17. Jody Carlson with 15. She was one rebound away from a double-double. But to take a look at Geneva as a whole, they're 4-10 overall. They're 1-6 in the conference. And uh, their only win came against Teal with a 71-63 victory. So they've been struggling all season. Let's send it to Austin Anderson now for introductions and the anthem. Underdogs in this one, they have a lot of fight in them. Genetzer wins the tip to Delaney. And we're underway here from the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse. There's Gelman in the corner. Driving the lane, gives two connects underneath the basket. Delaney to O'Keefe, O'Keefe open three, no good. Rebound knocked away by Geneva, and Katie Gelman comes down with it. Now Delaney gives to Knetzer, Knetzer drives the lane, right-handed layup, good. Two to nothing, Waynesburg. Nine minutes, 30 seconds to play here in the first quarter. This is the layup, rebound made by Moore. Here comes Geneva the other way. Eight minutes, 45 seconds to play, first quarter. Waynesburg two, Geneva nothing as Haney, Marissa Haney, buries a three. A 37% three-point shooter for the Golden Tornadoes, and it's 3-2 to two Geneva with eight minutes and 30 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Good rebound made by Delaney, and here come the Jackets the other way. Star to Gelman. Star top of the key. Now Delaney hands it off to O'Keefe. Kicks it to the right side. Here comes Starr driving, falling over, gives it to O'Keefe. Here's Gelman, 4-3, no good. Rebound made by Knetzer. Here's Starr now, finds a cutting O'Keefe, layup, good. That's me, really O'Keefe. Two points for O'Keefe, 4-3, Waynesburg over Geneva. Seven minutes, eight seconds to play, first quarter. Shot clock at five. Gelman gets a screen, open three. Too strong, rebound made though by Starr. New shot clock for the Jackets. Star down to Delaney, left hand and hook, good. Two points for Haley Delaney. Waynesburg six, Geneva three. Six minutes and 12 seconds to play. Opening quarter. Gelman now to Star Underneath the basket again, Delaney, left hook, no. Gets her own rebound and she's fouled. That foul will be on Marissa Haney, her first, team first. Oh. I apologize, no, it's on Noel Henry. First free throw here for Delaney is good. 46% free throw shooter. She now has three points, averaging 11 points per game, a 34% three point shooter. Second free throw on the way is good. Four points for Delaney, Waynesburg eight, Geneva three, 550 to play first quarter. Good, rebound made by Delaney. It's Starr from the free throw line. Jump shot good. Monica Starr on the board. 10-3 Waynesburg. Five and a half to play. First quarter over the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. Bartman checks in as well as Drazik. Inbound goes to Knetzer. She'll drive the lane and draw the contact. Send her to the free throw line for two. We see calls on her where she's just working down low and really just muscles up a couple shots. This time she has an opportunity to shoot two. First free throw, no good. A 66.2% free throw shooter is Knetzer, the junior and Kelsey major from Char Houston. Fourth in scoring in the PAC with 17.6 points per game and first in rebounding. She has 174 of them. Next free throw, good. One of two from the charity strike. Three points for Knetzer. 11 to three. 
Wayne Turner, and we're going to get a substitution. Talked to Coach Jones before the game. He said the key to this game is to play inside the paint, work the ball to Knetzer, and you got to win the rebounds. So far, they have been working inside of Tulaney and Knetzer. I think it's never a bad idea to work the ball down low to Knetzer. She's just so talented down low in the paint. For sure. Spin move, and the left-handed hook is good by Connect. Two points for her. I guess you could say Amanda Connect connected with that shot. Yeah. What do you think? There you go. Two points now for her. It's 11 to 5. Waynesburg with 4.15 to play first quarter. Great screen by Drazik. Gives the open lane to Monica Starr for the layup. Four points now for her. 13 to 5, Waynesburg. 4.05 to play first quarter. Her first. Jen, foul number 22. Monica Starr, her first, team's first. That'll send Connect to the free throw line. She's one of one on the season, so she doesn't get there very often. First free throw is good. Number 35, Connect to the game. Connect the junior from Oil City, Pennsylvania. Laura Cyber Charter School leads the team in field goal percentage with 55.6%. Second free throw on the way, in and out. And the Jackets. Julie DeClaven comes down with the rebound. 13-6 Waynesburg, three minutes and 54 seconds to play. First quarter, ball goes out of bounds. It will be Geneva Ball, who sends Jody Carlson to the free throw line, a 70.3% free throw shooter. First free throw is good. It's her first points of the game. It's 13-7 now, Waynesburg. In the last game when Geneva lost to Chatham, 81-69, Carlson had 15 points. It was just one rebound away from a double-double. Second free throw is no good. Geneva comes down to the rebound, but falling out of bounds was more, so the Jackets will take over. There's Ford to Haney. Haney, three ball on the way. It's good. Marissa Haney with her second three. She has six, 13-10. Waynesburg, two and a half to play, first quarter. Shot, no good. She comes down with her own rebound, though. Didn't hit anything, so shot clock doesn't reset. Shot clock's at 10. Bartman for three. Yes. Three. And a Bartman from downtown. 16-10, Waynesburg, 2.05 to play, first quarter. Under two minutes now to play here in the first quarter. Shot clock's at 15. Here's Ford driving the lane, trying. Front right hand and layup, good. Callie Ford, first two points of the game. 16-12, Waynesburg, one minute, 42 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Top of the key, Moore. Moore backing down on Delaney, kicks it out. Open three from the corner. Good. Jody Carlson has four. It's a one-point game. Waynesburg 16, Geneva 15. Approaching one minute to play, first quarter. Delaney open three. Yes. Seven points now for Delaney. Leads the Jackets in scoring, 19-15 Waynesburg, 8.45 to play here in the first half. Eight minutes, six seconds to play, first half, 19-15 Waynesburg. Star to Bartman, swings it to Delaney, three ball again, yes! Haley Delaney buries two three-pointers here in the second quarter, give her 10, 22-15 Waynesburg, 7.50 to play. Bartman to Star, Star to Delaney. She'll try another open three. Yes! Three. Another three made by Delaney. Give her 13. Three three-pointers here in the second quarter, and the Jackets have a 10-point lead with 6.53 to play here in the first half. There's Delaney getting the ball knocked away, but passes to Knetzer. Knetzer, jump shot from about the free throw line, buries it. Five points now, and... Coach Sam Jones will take a timeout with a 27-15 lead with 5.50 to play here in the first half. Delaney, here come the Jackets again. Throwing cross court. And Partman with a great pass, finding Knetz underneath the basket. Give her seven, 29-15 Waynesburg. Unselfish play there by Bartman. Well, Bartman set up as though she was going to take the three. The three. She moved her hands up, faked out the defense, and found a wide open Addie Knetzer, who 99.9% .9 of the time will never miss a shot like that. Jump shot, nothing but air. Here comes Starr to Gelman. Fast break, left-handed layup, good. First two for Gelman. 31 to 15, Waynesburg with 3.20 to play here in the first half. Jackets dominating. 
Geneva hasn't scored yet in this quarter. And three ball on the way. It's good. Songer, first points here in the second quarter for Geneva. It's her first basket. She has three. 31-18 Waynesburg. Under two minutes to play now here in the first half. Feeding Knetzer underneath the basket. Good off glass. She makes it look easy down low. The 5'11 junior from Houston, PA. All strength down there in the paint. You'll see that all day long. Nine points now for Addy. Minute and a half to play here in the first half, and we have a whistle. Scores in the PAC. We got Westminster at St. Vincent and Teal at Chatham. Now they're doubling Knetzer. She lays it up and in. And the foul. Give her 11, and she'll head to the free throw line for one more. Doubling Andy Knetzer, still not going to be able to stop her. She is absolutely a beast down low, and she's not bad from the charity stripe either, but now she made me look bad as soon as I say that, right? She's now one for three from the free throw line, but she has 11 points to her credit here in the first half. Nice behind the back move, but jump shot no good.